So, Valheim is now on Xbox, and it's also on Game Pass. So, a few friends and I decided to give it a go, and we were very pleasantly surprised. Valheim, if you didn't know, is a survival game set in a Viking-themed purgatory. You fight bosses, build halls and houses, scavenge for materials, hunt animals, raid dungeons, and, even, and more. Now, despite its simple graphics, that may put some players off, especially with most games these days being super high in quality and looking absolutely out of this world, Valheim is super fun. The choice of graphic style really works with the soundtrack of Valheim, and it's almost charming in a way. Now, Valheim is only a game preview right now, which obviously means that there are no achievements to be unlocked yet, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't give it a go. In this video, I'm going to talk about my experience in Valheim so far, and the potential this game has to be an absolute hit with gamers around the world. So far in Valheim, my friends and I have defeated the first boss, built a house which we share that is surrounded by a spiked wall, but before all that happened, we were just four nearly naked vikings in purgatory. By the time I joined, my friends had already ha built the house, so I started gathering wood and stone to build tools, things like an axe, a hammer, a club, staples of the survival genre really. What's really nice about Valheim is that you actually level up skills whenever you do anything. Almost everything you do has a skill attached to it, even running and jumping, swimming, sneaking, almost anything you can think of. By leveling these skills up, I'm pretty sure it means you consume less stamina when doing the action attached to said skill. And I'm not 100% sure, but that's how I think it works. Anyway, after gathering enough wood, I wanted to build a wall around our house to keep it defended from enemies that were spawning in the black forest nearby. And this is my favourite part of Valheim. Building is just so satisfying. Buildings clip together to make building cleaner and easier, and you can rotate items whichever way you want. You can level the ground with a hoe to make building easier, and finishing a building is just really satisfying. Now, because Valheim is only a preview right now, there are only so many things you can build currently, but with updates and as the game develops, the building could honestly be one of the biggest parts of this game. I'm imagining like huge viking halls or full skill viking villages. And combat in Valheim isn't too bad either. You can attack, block, dodge, and some weapons have a secondary, stronger attack that's a bit slower. There's even stealth in this game. What you'll quickly learn is some enemies are incredibly powerful and you will die a lot, but thankfully this game allows you to go to where you died and collect all of your items. The only punishment for dying in Valheim is your skills will lose some of their levels. In the stream I did to gather gameplay for this video, you may or may not see that we did actually fight a troll at one point and it was huge. And that's another thing I like about Valheim. Scale. Not every enemy is just one size. Trolls are enormous compared to the player, but then you have skeletons that are the same size as you. Having varied enemy types that not only look vastly different and are different sizes, but also play differently too really makes Valheim's combat that bit more interesting. Now there will be people that argue that the combat is just button mashy, you just press a button and spam it, but I disagree, I think I think it's not that simple depending on the weapon you're using. Like at one point we were fighting a troll and we were using bows, if we didn't have bows then it would have been melee combat and melee combat against a troll wouldn't have worked. It's not just tap RB or right bumper and there we go. Despite the game's simple look, it's a lot more than that. Overall, Valheim has some really fun gameplay, with fun building mechanics, easy to get to grips with combat and easy to understand survival elements, such as gathering wood or stone, anyone can easily pick up Valheim and quickly learn how the game works. The soundtrack to Valheim is also great, I'm not sure if it is available to listen anywhere yet as I haven't looked myself, but the music works perfectly within the game world, it just sounds... Viking-y? It just works really well within the world of Valheim, and it's sometimes just really nice to just listen to it. The 
Now that I've gone over my experience in Valheim, it's time to talk about the massive potential this game has. First things first, skills. Skills, as I've said, level up whenever you do literally anything. While this is great, what would be even better going forward would be skill trees. Say you hit level 20 on running, you could start to unlock skills that allow you to go faster, or burn less stamina, or perhaps you could unlock a viking charge in the running skill tree. This could really open up the skills more, making things more diverse for players, and could even develop into different playstyles for different people. I really hope the devs look into this as a possibility to improve the skills mechanic, and I hope they don't just leave it at basic skills that just level up as a number. Secondly, the building. As I've already said, building in Valheim is just really, really satisfying, but it's also limited at the moment. Going forward, I'd love to see people building huge Viking halls, huge villages, towers, castles. The potential for building in this game is enormous. Being able to build longhouses or small huts, farms, huge, just kingdoms. You know, the variety we could have could be immense. I'm very keen to see how the devs add to the building as the game develops and updates. Thirdly, the enemies. Enemies in Valheim are already interesting, but the scope for new enemies is huge too. This game is Viking themed, meaning we have the entirety of Norse mythology to think up new enemy types. I'm thinking Draugr, Valkyries, maybe even Dwarves, Giants. You know, the devs could really go out all out with enemies, they could have some very interesting and unique attacks and abilities. And as we already know, there are boss fights in the game as well, so perhaps later down the line when the game is really underway in development, we could have new boss fights every so often. And just to add on to this too, real quick, what about NPCs? Now, I'm not sure if there are friendly NPCs in Valheim, or, you know, anything of the sort, but a trading system would be very handy, and even a currency such as gold or silver. Now, there could be NPCs in the game that I just haven't bumped into yet or found, or there may not be any at all, and if that is the case, I think adding some form of friendly NPCs could add extra spice to Valheim. You know, just, you know, maybe a, a trader, that would be the first go-to really, because um, in-game we have actually found gold and it is listed as a currency. So either there are traders in the game or they are going to be added at some point. But go further than that, you know, what about Viking warriors looking for payment in return for their skills in combat? Or, I don't know, someone who's an expedition type of person who could help you find things in a dungeon, or find a dungeon for you to, to raid. Things like that, not just a trader, make it interesting. These are just some of the things I think could massively improve Valheim, um, and really make it a memorable game, and I'm really hoping the devs give this game a lot of love and really strive to use the potential of this game to its fullest. I'm a sucker for anything that's Viking themed, and honestly, I'd love, 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 love to see Valheim really just go all out and be huge. Overall, Valheim is a very fun game, especially with friends. Um, if you like survival games and you like Viking themed stuff, then I would definitely recommend giving Valheim a go. And it's on Game Pass too, which is a plus. You know, a lot of people these days on Game Pass, so you don't even have to go and buy it, you can just get it on Game Pass. Now, like I said, while there are no achievements for me to talk about, if the game does make it past the preview stage and eventually release as a full game, I can imagine there being some decent achievements. But I can't really think of any that will be too hard based on what I've played so far. Other than that, I'd say go play Valheim. Give it a go. You know, let me know what you think in the comments if you do go give it a go, if you do give it an install. Let me know if you think that if you could agree with me. Let me know some things you think it could do in the future with the potential that it has. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Stay safe, guys.